Have you ever wondered what the purpose is of using version control with ClickView? I'm going to show you a couple of advantages uh, based on version control and deployment in Azure DevOps. So under repos, I can find all my files of uh, my ClickView applications. This is a simple example with two ClickView applications. Uh, I have checked in the code as PRJ folders containing all the XML files and the load script. The PRJ folders are created by ClickView. I can easily browse all my files and in particular the ClickView load script. So I can see it here. Not only can I see the latest version, I can see the complete history of the file, uh, all the commits and changes that have been made. I can uh, see differences for each commit made. This also allows us not only to see all the changes, but we can also have a free text search. So let's say we want to look for something specific in our source code files we will do it here uh, we can specify subfolders where we want to to look for it uh, we find one file which has this specific name and we also find the content in our load script uh, once the files are checked in or committed to this repo, <coughs> we also associate pipeline with this. Uh, this allows us to uh, determine what happens when the source files are committed to Azure DevOps. So what this pipeline will do is that it will build a click view file from the XML files. Uh, it will then do some specific tests and upon approval, it will deploy it to the specific environment. Now let's say I'm in a maintenance situation for my ClickView application. I got a support issue. Somebody is wondering why the data has changed or they have some specific question about the data so i will go into my pipeline and investigate what could have been the changes made to my load script so here i have all the deploys a history of the deploys so i can see that the rightmost green tick box here is indicating deployment so for example this version i have deployed uh, whereas this uh, version has never been deployed it's still waiting for approval so my first go would be to look at this latest version so i will click on it i can see the specifics about uh, the commit and the changes made so i can say who made it I can see the commit comment, move the com column list boxes. Uh, but uh, I can see when it was made. I can also go into the spe specific commit of the source code to see the exact changes. So here I get the summary of the changes. I can see that I have changed in two list boxes those XML files. Uh, this is hardly responsible for the issue I had at hand. So I will move on further and look at the load script of my application. So I go to the load script and I look at the specific history of the load file. So 
here I can see the last commit where the load script was affected. So I will go into that version. Uh, I can see here uh, a summary of the commit. This is the comment by the developer. So a detailed chart was developed that apparently also something was made to the load script. And uh, that's the changes indicated here. Uh, so that is where I will go into and look into the specific issue I had at hand and if this is explaining it. Uh, maybe I understand it myself or I can ask the developer who made the change. So this is very helpful in detecting uh, issues when you are in a maintenance situ situation of a ClickView application.